Hello. Um, <clears throat> not you, Fred. Um, a question came up um, after the last video um, about how we got the land and how we purchased the land. And um, it's by um, the person who asked was Oaks Outside. Um, and go give that channel a check out. He's got a couple cooking videos on there that are pretty cool. Um, and it's O-A-K-E-S um, outside. So, so I blew it by not explaining all this to you. <clears throat> I was so excited about cooking sausages that I completely forgot this whole aspect of it. So basically, um, to bring everyone up to speed, I guess, if you haven't watched the videos on um, us looking for um, land loans, we went that route originally, um, trying to see if we could um, get like a loan from our bank or something like that um, to buy land. And as we were looking into it, it turns out, um, at least in California, I don't know how it is outside of California, um, there were a lot of banks that wouldn't do it. And, and here comes a giant airplane. Well, it's actually a small airplane, but it's really close. Um, the reasons why they don't do it is because um, they there's not enough in that there's not enough for them to make long term money off of it because for the most part unless you're getting like some like multi million dollar chunk of land on the beach or something like that um, the land isn't worth a lot to the banks. Um, but we found that U.S. Bank um, does do land loans. <clears throat> and they had a few stipulations like um, your credit score has had to be over 680. And um, I think... I'm not 100% on this, but I think they wanted like either 30 to 50% of the money um, as your down payment. And then um, you would pay whatever ridiculous interest rate there was. But the whole reason why they do this is because they want to get you into a 30 year fixed on a construction slash home loan. And, um, we weren't like super excited about that aspect of it, but I kept like digging into it just to see like kind of what would come up. And it turns out that, um, if you want to do something like this, <clears throat> you can't build your own house. Like you need to have a contractor and... Um, they do it and I'm sure they work with certain contractors that they'll want you to do stuff with or whatever so when I told them that we were wanting to build our own house um, they weren't interested they're like yeah we could still do the land loan I guess and <clears throat> just the the way everything went was just really I, I didn't like it so, <clears throat> when we were looking for property, well, basically, that's the end of the land loan search. Um, so, we were just figuring we were going to go about it in a different way. Didn't know what that way was going to be, but we decided we would try. And first off, we started looking on Zillow, like... Uh, just in areas we wanted um, because they have land for sale on Zillow and all that other stuff so um, 
we were looking on there, um, and we saw a couple places that we thought were cool, but nothing really jumped out. So then we just started going down and driving around, um, looking for, for sale signs, because when you go out in the desert, like all of it's for sale, like you could go anywhere and find some acreage for sale. <clears throat> and so we took some numbers down and a lot of them were like, um, like mom and pop, uh, real estate companies or just private sellers or whatever. And some of them were really nice. Some of them were kind of dicks, but some of them were really nice. And, but the problem I was having with those were that, um, no one really seemed in a hurry to sell anything. And I know that might sound weird, but like someone would say that they'll email me, um, some listings or someone will say they'll email me, um, the, a satellite image of the lot lines of a property so I could see actually like where, um, how big the property is or whatever. And then I would never get those. Or I would get like the same email like three or four times from somebody. Um, and I, it was just like, I didn't understand why the, it was so difficult. <clears throat> and then we started looking into just like other websites and Billy land was the first one we were looking at and there was some cool stuff on there. Um, there were some other sites like, um, desert property or desert land or something like that. And they were all okay. And, but nothing was great. And then we found a site called Landwatch, uh, landwatch.com. And what makes Landwatch different from the stuff we were already looking at was that a lot of these things um, were seller financed. So like um, almost all of them were like you pay a little bit down and this is your monthly payment. Um, and because our actual build the more we like look into it starts someone's dog won't come home um since our build keeps getting bigger and um a little more costly we were afraid that if we bought some giant chunk of land um and paid for everything up front, we would be sitting on the land for months trying to raise the money again to actually start building. <clears throat> I wish Delilah would just go home. I don't know why Delilah doesn't listen to her mommy. Um, so anyway, on Land Watch, we found a couple properties, and... The big thing for us was the zoning. Um, there was this exquisite, beautiful property that um, was kind of in the middle of nowhere. There was a monastery kind of close by. But it was um, a residential zoning. And um, we don't want a residential zoning because we want to... Um, raise, you know, chickens and goats and pigs and all that other shit stuff. Sorry, I'm trying to really make this a very family-friendly channel. So I'm going to try to work on my language. So, um, but because that was a residential zoning, um, I didn't feel comfortable with it. Um, but it was a great piece of property. Um, 
the other drawback to that one was that that was 10 acres and there was um, 40 acres next to it that had just been sold and we were I guess kind of worried about what would be built on that I guess um, just not knowing what was going to be there like bothered us a little bit I guess so um, we just kept looking but we there were so many things on land watch and so much stuff was going up on there like we would go down on Monday and look at all the lots that were um, within a decent drive and then we would come home and discuss and then t the next day Tuesday would roll around and there would be like five more listings on there and so we would go down again check those out come back Wednesday there were more listings on so it's a pretty decent decently used site and um, we ended up getting um, a property that was um, rural living Homestead Valley rural living um, and that's cool there was a pretty big chunk of land that was um, agricultural but when I was looking like agricultural zoning which is what I was kind of looking at originally and then the more I looked into it the more and this could be completely false um, but when I was looking into like the zoning codes and all this other stuff there was one line and something that, that made it look like if a if a county wasn't producing enough of a certain thing that the county could come and tell you that you had to either grow or raise um, this certain thing because there wasn't enough of it being made in the county and <clears throat> I can't remember exactly what it was but I read it and reread it and and again I could just be completely paranoid and that's not even a thing but there was a part of me that thought that that could happen and um, that freaked me out so I was like yeah I don't want to do that um, but we ended up finding the place um, and on the site like you could hold the property by putting a, a very small down payment on it so we did that on <clears throat> on a Thursday on Friday got all the paperwork did all the paperwork finalized all of how the money was gonna go and um, yeah by Friday afternoon um, it was ours you know and yeah there's like no like escrow company and I guess um, you could get screwed doing that or whatever um, but there was a piece of land we liked we wanted it and we got it um, <clears throat> I'm, there's not an interest rate, um, on this one, like, we're not paying interest on it, um, it's just, ours, we're doing some payments on it, we could pay it off sooner if we want, and that's probably what we're gonna end up doing once we, once we can figure out exactly how much the build is gonna be, and, um, kind of start that whole route um, one of the things we have to do now that we're doing everything by the book is um, we have to pay for a it's like 150 bucks to pay for an address um, and 
I was completely fine with not having an address and just getting like a P.O. box somewhere or something. <clears throat> but apparently for all of the, um, what do you call it, uh, inspections and crap like that and all the paperwork, um, everyone wants there to be an actual address and not like, a, a, what is it, an APN which is a something parcel number. Um, so anyway, so that's how we did it. So if you're interested in doing something like this, I would say definitely check Landwatch out. And they have places all over the world, which is exciting because um, there might be a day when I want to buy a piece of sandy beach on some stupid island somewhere. And... Um, that would be nice to do. So anyway, if you have any questions about any of this, please let me know. Um, down below, I could answer to the best of my ability. But um, yeah, definitely check out Landwatch. It worked. Like, don't worry about Zillow. Don't worry about Realtors. Just, you know, since I'm a financial expert, I could give you financial advice, obviously. Sarcasm. So, alright, take care guys.